ABB 18. Here's an exclusive. ABB is betting big on the Indian market, expects its India business to grow at double digits ahead of India's GDP growth. CNBC TV 18's Archana Shukla caught up with the uh, Ulrich Spicehofer, the global CFO of AB, CEO of ABB, and began by asking him about the demand uptick seen in India going forward. Listen in. If you look at India, we look at India from a very long-term perspective. It's one of the largest economies in the world. It's one of the longest-term activities of ABB. We are in India since more than 100 years serving customers with our offering across our entire portfolio. I see India in the following way. If you look at the infrastructure and the utility side, there are significant investments coming, there are significant projects going on. You know that we are at the moment completing the Northeast Accra project, where we bring six gigawatt of power from the Himalaya hydropower down in the central region of Accra, and that project is going very successful. I expect more of these activities to come in the future, and we are strongly positioned in that field. On the industry side, the productivity and the Make in India a program that Prime Minister Modi has launched, I can only support that fully. ABB is ideally positioned to really work with India on its competitiveness through our automation solutions, which I think is very strong. If I look at the transport sector, whether it's the Indian Railway or the ambition to go into electric vehicles, India has a very steep ambition for 2030 on electric vehicles. Altogether, we are a long-term partner, and I think we are ideally but positioned. But most of what you've spoken is from the public investment space. So is that what is picking up? Do you, in the near term, see any private mm -hmm. investment pick up? And yeah. how is the scenario as far as large-scale orders are concerned? If you look at the private sector, um, with our robotics business, we gain orders in the automotive space and also in the electronics area. We are participating in buildings in India with our home electrification offering. So it's a mix between large government-driven and more private customers and industrial B2B customer-driven consumption. Altogether, I would characterize at the moment the situation that some of the segments are very nicely prospering and go in the right direction. Some others at the moment are a bit subdued, especially the process industries. But we have been around for many years. We are not getting nervous about it. We will stay in India. ABB India revenues have roughly hovered around 1.3, 1.5 billion dollars. Uh, where do you see it going, let's say, in the next three to four years time frame? Um, and, you know, if we also talk of the capex that you would be lining up for the Indian market. Yeah. If you take in ABB in India, it has really been a success story. Uh, we have localized a lot of our activities. We have deployed significant capital to have world-class factories in India serving the local market. We will continue that pattern. I would expect our India business to grow ahead of the economy. And since the Indian economy is one with, with, with the highest growth rates in the world, Sanjeev needs to do a good job to how grow much, very strongly. How much future. would exports contribute that then in the next three to four years' time? I remember two years back yeah. when we spoke, you had you'd given a big target as far yeah. as export ramp yeah. up was concerned. Look, given the situation of the markets around South Asia and the Middle East at the moment, Middle East is subdued in certain spending. Uh, we have not really achieved everything that we want to do, but we have good momentum, we have good capability, the supply chain is set up. So this is and remains a priority in the future to get India also stronger going as an export hub. The quality coming out of the country is increasing every day. I'm really proud of what our Indian team has achieved already. Three billion dollars of share buyback is what you've announced. Uh, you also went through the same process a couple of years ago. India was not part of it. This time, would India be part of the share buyback program? Well, the way, the way we run the program is it's uh, related to the ABB stock overall, the global mm -hmm. stock. So India, we will not buy back stock in ABB India. All right, then time to slip into a short break. When you come back, we'll tell